I figured out a little workaround for the for the iPhone thing. Still on the iPhone. I think I uploaded the five minute video, so caught up on the song and the chords and stuff. Since I've been going back and forth between them all, it's, it's kind of cool to see my progress, even if this, I still mess up. But I'm pretty sure I wasn't hitting chords like this when I first started. Though right now I'm messing up. down for the A minor just because I want to do the A minor the way the A minor I learned it. It doesn't look like it changes it too much but with the capo on it and once it's shifted down that'd be something. Also I just want to say I like doing these videos again because they keep me motivated. I notice when I'm doing the videos I focus more on like I'm, I'm more into doing it and learning the guitar even though I still do the same stuff off camera. I don't know what chord I was going to there. Might as well go to E since I had two fingers ready. Back to E. So when I learn this song, it's gonna be the strum version first, but then I do wanna finger pick it. So I wanna learn the song, I wanna get really good at it, and then I'm gonna practice finger picking parts of it, like, cause I'm gonna be able to strum it for the most part, and then I'm gonna be able to finger pick easy uh, parts of it, easy parts, and work my way up to probably finger picking the whole thing. Cause it's not a fast, fast paced song at all. Keep hitting the hitting the sixth string when I do the C chord. And you, don't, you don't need it. And I keep forgetting the sixth string when I do the E chord. But I'm hoping this time the workaround I did for the phone will work a little better. Hopefully I won't look up and the video be cut at five minutes again. But to me, it took me so long to figure out the workaround that I'm hoping it to upload. Oh wait, yeah, I'm playing it right. Slide down a bit, but hoping to upload the four midnight. I'm realizing that I'm playing my E chord, the E minor, differently. I keep calling it the E, it's the E minor. And the E actually sounds they said brighter, like that. So as you can tell, the song I'm trying to learn, since it has the E minor, might be a sadder type song, or maybe the, I don't know if it's like that, but the way I'm using the E minor, it's definitely gonna be a sadder type song, not such uplifting. But it's a really good song. Reveal 
it until I get good enough to play it. Or at least for the melody to be heard through it. It also gives me motivation once I record it to see how far I'm coming. Right now I'm just practicing those chords I told you about. G, D, oops, C, C, and E minor. You can't forget about A minor, but I'm gonna include the third string for now. It's not too hard to remember not to include it. I don't know how much it changes either, like not having it in there. But yeah, like I said, I, I notice I'm changing my E minor when I play it. Make sure. Sometimes I play it with these two fingers. Sometimes I'm playing it with like these two. It's just whatever fingers are getting there at the time, so it's kind of cool. Play the sixth string. What is it? I need to learn how to mute. like hitting the chords twice. I wonder if I forgot that Despacito thing I did. I always like that part of Despacito. Tempered. adjust the camera next time but for right now I'm just enjoying playing because I was directly on the fret. Next, that could sound cleaner. Yeah, 
that's a cleaner C right there. It's very clean E. As you can see, I made it past the 10 minute mark, so I did something right with that recording thing. I think a lot of this rotation practice of going back to the C is definitely gonna help me. Well, it's just helping me like play the C and the E minor I don't know how much practice I needed for the E minor it feels like a, a chord I could have got to maybe I'm trying to go from G to so let's see G Keep your finger here. Oh. Hmm. I might have to move that finger. So if you slide your hand, slide my hand fast I can make it to the E minor really been missing playing the guitar so it's nice to sit down and relax and play some guitar and this session's not really too much learning about the music theory because sometimes I just want to be here and have some fun with it There's a song I used to listen to, a little beat, I guess it's not a song, it's a beat, I guess, it's called Disorganized, Disorganized Chaos, Disorganized Fun, that's what it is, that's exactly what this is, it's not really organized, it's Disorganized Fun, by, I want to say Robert Jenkins or something like that? make some nice beats and he did it on a piano keyboard or something or maybe he did it like a DJ type thing I definitely wasn't able to hit C major chord like I was now especially the G major circling all those chords it's like a circle kind of but what time is it yeah, I'll finish up six more minutes because maybe that will like, give me time to upload it before the stroke of midnight I want to practice on making these chords sound clean to I can tell D is like the strongest chord.
also like recording because it I don't mind having my mistakes out there I'd rather see if I ever get to where I want to get to like what did I do to get there and like I said recording all this stuff is more therapeutic and who knows maybe there's somebody out there who would actually take this these videos and learn something oops or maybe they'll just enjoy listening to it the same notes over and over again until I learn how to play a song and I bet you I'm gonna play that song over and over again but I keep skipping G which is not a bad thing because I spent a whole lot of time practicing G It was only like a week it felt like, but I guess it was more than two weeks. I don't know. It was something. So the transition's happening pretty fast, which is nice. And it's fairly accurate. And that's to the C chord too I'm talking about. Definitely gonna do some trimming because it's gonna be easier when my fingernails are shorter. some travel coming up I'm trying to think how am I gonna do these videos because I don't want to miss a day but I don't Attention to time. Some good practice. I like when I see my calluses coming out. I'm like, yeah, that's some good practice. It's not hurting at all. Just wanted to record it. <laughs> 